The average physical fight happens between two individuals who would otherwise be considered friends. Not strangers, not mortal enemies, friends. Why is that? Well, perhaps it has something to do with the way that we are conditioned to interact with each other. See, the vast majority of relationships, both personal and in professional settings, is one of hierarchical positioning. That means that someone always has to be dominant, someone always has to be submissive. Because of this, situations in which people call themselves traditional labels such as male or female, or even in more fluid gender binaries, the individuals in the relationship are competing for dominance. Have you ever found yourself in a position where you felt like you were competing for dominance in a relationship? And if you're being honest, do you ever feel like you walked out of an experience in that relationship where you genuinely felt like your spirit was fueled? Or do you think you could relate to the statement that you always walked out of those relationship experiences feeling sapped, feeling like you were competing, and either feeling a sort of toxic relief that you were done competing and you won that exchange, that battle, or feeling resentful, like you were defeated? Now, what if on the opposite side of the spectrum, you always walked out of these experiences feeling that sense of spirit fulfillment, feeling like instead of competing, you were vibing with that person, you were building off each other's energy and ultimately creating an environment where you were nurturing each other. The relationships where there's that constant dominance battle, yes, on the surface they're based on who is stronger, but ultimately they're based on insecurity. Relationships where you are fueling each other, where you are building off each other, these relationships are built on a fundamental self-confidence. So if you find yourself consistently fighting, or consistently having to fight someone? Is it because you really need to be the best? Or is it because you are compensating for a fundamental lack of confidence?